Hi, it's a very crispy and cold December afternoon and today we're going to be installing fibre to our uh, premises here uh, as our primary or fallover broadband service. Now we've got some work to do here so we're going to go and crack on with it but just to show you where we're going uh, we've got some work to do in just removing this panel here just temporarily and you'll see that we have our engineer off the pole right there should be a very interesting installation so keep watching We have our engineer here from MJ Quinn. They are contractors for uh, OpenReach. And as you can see, um, we're just going to now uh, tether that cable, that fiber cable to the pole, and then we'll take that over to the, uh, the porter cabin over there. Okay, so we're gonna get that done first, and then we'll come back and uh, see how we're getting on. Okay, so we've got the cable in. Now what we need to do is install the ONT device, plug it into my UDM Pro and go ahead and configure that up. So let's get inside and get that done. Okay, so we've pulled the cable in from the pole and we've cleated it around the outside of our building. What we need to do now is go and drill a hole so that we can actually draw that uh, fiber cable into the building and that will terminate into our ONT box. So let's go and drill a hole. Okay, so what I've done here is I've drilled uh, a hole here uh, through the wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, take that and draw that out. And I'm going to put a rod through in its place, just like that, so that we can then use that to draw the cable through. Okay, so we've got our rod here. That's obviously marking where we drilled the hole. We've got our fiber cable here. And this fiber, ca fiber cable will effectively be spliced inside this uh, box. This is the box that goes on the outside. And what happens here is the cable is then spliced into this box and you'll have the external cable on one side, the internal cable on the other, and the internal cable obviously is what goes into the ONT. Okay, so what we're gonna do here now is we're just lining up this uh, the box on the wall we're just gonna make a just mark it and now it's ready for drilling So this is the uh, the outer braiding, obviously you're cutting here. Yep. Uh, that sheaths the actual fiber. And what I think is really cool is, is I like to show the viewers the actual fiber because a lot of people just, they can't comprehend the fiber part. And I like to describe it as the, uh, if you've got one of those Christmas trees that uh, lights up automatically, uh, you just plug it in. It's normally uh, fiber that drives those, it's not little LEDs, it's, it's fiber. So you can see how uh, there's your strand of fiber. That's, that's amazing, right? That's just awesome. Uh, so we don't wanna have to reinstall this cable again. So I'm gonna let this gentleman get on with his work. So you've just pulled back the jacket, have you? Yep. So that was a protective cover. Use the stripper to strip it. Using the cleaver just to cut it to the right size. So we have the sleeve there that we will later on heat, and that will join both the fibers together. Tough the second. So we're just prepping up the other side. Yep. Now I find this. I find this part really, really awesome because <laughs> we're dealing with this 
strand of hair and um, it is just so so delicate that you've, you've just got to get it right I mean that's I mean you can just about see it there um, goes into the other side now uh, here comes the the bacon shake the uh, moment of truth. <laughs> Slight bend and it could be game over. you want to sleep, uh, see the sleeve properly so there's actually a metal a little bit of a metal strip in there as well that obviously is keeping it straight and aligned yeah awesome okay. wow so now you just got to do the uh, wrap around so we make sure that we keep the radius bends That's it. appropriate so that there is um, little loss in the actual uh, light that will come through that okay so what we've got here is our fiber cable that we saw being wound in the box outside, uh, the external box outside. That then comes all the way around here and terminates here into our uh, open reach ONT unit. Uh, this unit, by the way, acts as a modem. So we then go from here uh, out of the LAN on a, a gig LAN cable. And that LAN cable gets plugged into our UDM Pro via this RJ45 SFP module uh, that terminates our WAN connection. Now what we need to do is go ahead and program that port up so it will connect to our ISP. Okay, so that's the installation done. We've put our fiber cable in, we have terminated it into our ONTN modem, and we've connected that to our UDM Pro router. The only thing now that's left to do is to go ahead and program that up. So let's get straight into that. Uh, I've logged in here into our UDM Pro um, GUI. I'm going to head over to the settings and then internet. In there, I'm going to click on my internet connection that you already see I've, I've done here. So I just want to show you what goes in there. So let me just go in there. And um, we normally have this, will, this will be set on auto. Uh, I like to set it up manually. So we put on manual and then we go down to where you have the username and password and we put the username and password in for the ISP. Uh, one other thing I like to do as well is DNS server settings. I like to take that off auto and I like using 8.8.8.8 and 1.1.1.1. So once I've made those changes, we click apply and that's our router all connected up now to our ISP. The only thing that's left to do now is to test it. And what you can see here is a uh, diagram of all our WAN connections and uh, port 10 is where we plugged in our uh, gigabit LAN cable from the ONT. We need to go and test that. So we head over to our dashboard and you can see here we've got uh, WAN 1 and WAN 2. WAN 2 selected at the moment, so I'm going to select WAN 1. And I'm going to click on Run Now. 
And what you can see here is that we're getting good favorable download speeds as well as good favorable upload speeds. Now these speeds will correspond to the service that you've signed up for. Okay, that's it. That was the BT full fiber installation. What do you think? Um, I thought it was a super cool installation. The engineer was really friendly and professional. Um, what's your experience of your full fiber installation, BT or otherwise? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe. My name's Rob from RLS Computer Services. Have a great day.